All right, next up, we are going to touch on Cup 20. I mean, Adam 22. Um, Adam 22 <laughs> has now officially declared after all of these years and after all of this time and after all of the written books and social media posts and viral videos and interviews on Club Shay Shay, now Adam 22 is on record saying that Brittany Renner is no longer marriage material. Uh, um, so um, this, this, these comments on, on behalf of Adam 22 came in light of uh, Charleston White, who was on the Danza Project, which is a podcast that Brittany Renner is featured on. And during that episode, Brittany Renner gave Charleston White a lap dance. And, you know, it, it, it kind of went off the rails and Britney was being her erratic self, throwing water on people and just, I don't know, I, can, I still can't explain the behavior. But, you know, she was straddling them, giving them a lap dance and, and, and that has come back up. It's crept back up into the recesses of the Internet because Charleston White was speaking on what was going on and what his thoughts were and what was happening during this exchange. And so that commentary has caused this lap dance situation to go viral now i do have a link in the description of this video of charleston white talking about that situation however i'm not going to play it during the stream because youtube will flag the video as 18 only for potentially inappropriate content i'm learning how youtube's machine works I'm learning slowly but surely how YouTube's algorithm functions. And so I feel as though that video will get us, we won't get the video blocked or anything like that, but it'll restrict the video to viewers 18 and up only. And I'm not trying to have that. So if you want to see that particular clip of Charleston White talking about what was going on during that podcast, click on the link in the description of this video. It'll take you to a video on World Star where you can check that out yourself. But we will give some context for what Adam 22 said in the meantime. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always going to have something for you here on Conscious Approach, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, this article says, Adam 22 says, Brittany Renner isn't marriage material following resurfaced lap dance video. Uh, Adam 22 responded to new footage of Brittany Renner's 2023 lap dance for Charleston White by saying that the Danza Project host is no longer marriage material. The news was reported by No Jumper, who had also originally disseminated the new footage of the lap dance. That's the video that I'm referring to. Uh, however, the No Jumper founder was immediately called out by his audience. To many people, it was hypocritical for Adam to make such a judgment when his wife is a born star. Uh, quote, oh, and the wife, oh, and the wife you have is, we can go pull up your wife, uh, now going to pound town, one person said. Whoa. Uh, now, 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 Adam, I know you ain't talking about marriage material. You still got time to delete this, bro. Another added. He's mad because she ain't kiss him. Meanwhile, the one he married is having guys lined up to, you know, F word, LOL, theorize another. Bro wouldn't know wife material if it slapped him in the face. He is right, though, someone else said, partially agreeing with Adam. Uh, and so here is an uh, um, Instagram um, screenshot from No Jumper. There is uh, Adam 22's uh, post there. I'm sorry, but you are no longer marriage material at Bundle of Britney, which is Britney Renner's Instagram. Um, all this comes after Charleston White opened up about the video of Britney Renner giving him a lap dance that surfaced in late 2023. Uh, she finna about to burst a vein. I was hard like a mother effer. I was about to nut if she didn't stop. White told the show White's comments were reposted by outlets such as No Jumper alongside new footage of the lap dance itself. So... According to Adam 22, whose wife makes adult films and they make adult films together and his wife gets smashed now by other men, not him, um, in adult films, is commenting that Brittany Renner is no longer marriage material because of, you know, her giving a lap dance on a podcast to Charleston White. Uh, what are your thoughts on Adam 22's thoughts that Brittany Renner friend of the channel is no longer marriage material 
You muted. Not my bad. Now, my thoughts are contingent upon um, this initial interview. Now, what was the platform of this initial interview where uh, she straddles this man? Uh, it was, it um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was typical shit talking stuff. And, you know, Charleston White was doing his shit talking routine and Brittany Ritter just was like calling him out on his BS. And I guess she, part of her stick for calling him out on his BS was, you know, to give him a lap dance. Yeah. But what, what, was, um, what was the platform? Like who was, the, what, what, who was hosting them? Uh, she's one of the hosts. Oh, and then that it was, was her host- show. It's yeah. So like she's a part of it. Oh, okay. So um, got it, got it, got it, got I can it. go ahead and I can go ahead and uh fact wow. that, fact check that for oh, you. Man. But yeah, she's a part of that podcast. Got of it, that podcast. It. No, I'm on the same page now. Okay. So here, here's here's my thing with uh, Adam Twenty Two. Now his whole shtick at this point is to be. Uh, be a headline. Uh, he lost his life a long time ago. <laughs> he doesn't have one. And he's well aware of that at this point. He <laughs> understands that he's an avatar of a human. He is now Adam 22. And he, play, he plays directly into that lane. He knows that this would spark headlines for him. Everybody... The irony here is just ridiculous. It's it's so strong. How could he not smell it? Well, he knows it's there. <laughs> he knows it's there so much that him saying this would, again, make him ring out in headlines. So to me, this was an algorithm play for him. I mean, that happened months ago. You're going to resurface this and then say that of all things? When everybody done seen the holiest of holes of your own wife. So this guy, of course, knows what he's doing. This is part of his algorithm play. You got to start off 2024 with a bang. So he's just playing some type of cycle in order for him to be in the mix. Um, Because once you get up there where he's at, you know, clickbait nation. Because another thing that he likes to do on his platform is fake beefs, fake fights. Anything that'll drive up view counts. So this man is a view count man. He know that him tricking his wife off is going to be a perpetual form of income. Who cares about humiliation? He knew he lost his life a long time ago. So this guy's just playing life and playing people in order for him to get more income. At least that's how I see this whole situation. But what are your thoughts on uh, (laughs) Cuck22 having the nerve, the gall? (laughs) <laughs> to say that Brittany Renner, of all people, is not wife material, knowing his wife bends it over backwards for strange men online. Quite literally. Uh, so uh, the description of the Danza Project on YouTube is residing in Miami, Florida. Shocker. Uh, Miami is quickly becoming the degenerate capital of, of America. We're getting um, there. Yeah, I, I, they may, we may already be there. Uh, mm-hmm. If it's degenerate, it's here. Um, but reside, it says residing in Miami, Florida, the Danza project is a live raw and uncut podcast offering viewers an opportunity to chat live with the biggest names and top celebrities featuring hosts Danza and Chris. You never know what you, you never know what can happen on the set. So I don't think she is, I think she was a guest on that show. I don't think she's like a co-host or anything. Um, so, you know, for reference, there you go. Uh, I hear everything you're saying and I hear you. It's ironic that he is making these comments in light of Charleston White, because if you think about it, Adam 22 is kind of like a white Charleston White, Um, except Adam 22 doesn't go into political issues as much as Charleston White does. But other than that, He's an internet troll very much in the same vein. Going to say things controversially on purpose because he understands that his shtick is not being very well liked. And so he's going to just say vile things just to get the reaction and to get people over to his channel. Uh, And he knows he exists in the internet ether as a vile individual because of what he does outside of his podcast. 
So he's embraced that. It's almost like he has. I don't even. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even call it an alter ego because I feel like at this point, when they're not, uh, when he's not doing that show, he still acts like that and does. Yeah, that. That's him. So that 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 is him. Um. So, so so I hear what you're saying. I concur, but I disagree with his comments on its face. She's still marriage material. Uh, she is oh, marriage whoa, material. Whoa, and here, whoa, hear, hey. me out. Hear, hear, oh, nah. hear me out. Hear me out. You'll see <laughs> where I'm going with. Let, <laughs> hear me out first. Yeah, you'll see. You'll pick up what I'm going. Where I'm going. Okay. Uh, so right. 2020, 2024, new humans. Right. Uh, we talk okay. about the facelift that society is currently undergoing to socially reconstruct everything. Mm -hmm. I've talked about how we're trying to turn sex work into a normal thing. It's like punching in a time clock, except mm -hmm. you're not going to work at an office building. You're going to have sex on a camera with a guy who is not your man, right? Uh, this is the world that we're living in now. Social anarchy is what I like to call it. So, you know, you got, you know, the people on the internet who set the tone for the rest of the society who is unable to think for themselves, pro athletes, entertainers, Paul George gets with a stripper, gets her pregnant. Now they're a family. Uh, Zion, <laughs> Zion, Zion Williamson, you know, gets with a porn star, you know, uh, she's airing out his dirty laundry, making him look bad. And then he gets a stripper pregnant, does a gender reveal party. Now he's going to raise a family with a stripper Zion. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't need to get into, you know, people like uh, Devin Booker, uh, people like uh, James Harden. You know what I'm saying? The stories are endless. My point in saying this is we're normalizing this stuff. So if we're normalizing the advent of getting into serious relationships with strippers, sex workers, porn stars, chicks who do OnlyFans, uh, we're normalizing getting into serious relationships with, you know, Instagram models, fitness models, influencers, so on and so forth. We're normalizing the advent of these things, right? It's no longer a scarlet letter to look upon these individuals as something that you just have fun with, but otherwise don't take seriously because of the life that they have chosen to cultivate for themselves. No. We are giving the world a facelift, especially over here in the West. We're deciding it is just as normal, just as reasonable, just as typical, just as ho-hum to have children with, marry, seriously date, sex workers, OnlyFans, chicks who do porn, you know, all of this. That's what we're doing. So if we're saying that we're normalizing these things, then why is Brittany Renner now no longer marriage material? I beg to differ. If the rest of these thought rappers are marriage material, if these strippers are marriage material, if OnlyFans chicks are marriage material, if Instagram models are marriage material, then so is Brittany Renner. And it doesn't matter how many books she's written. It doesn't matter how many dudes she's called out in the entertainment industry. It doesn't matter what her body count is, allegedly. It doesn't matter how much she discloses any of this stuff. At the end of the day, as I have said on this channel before, she knows that she can do these things publicly and still get what she wants, which is a high value man, high value in terms of money, not high value in terms of character. So she is incentivized in no way, shape, or form to behave any differently. She's still going to get these things, as is the rest of these thoughts running around out here acting a donkey, both in person and on the internet. They don't give a damn. They're going to do, say, act however they feel because there is a sucker born every minute. There is a guy on the internet waiting to date these women. What's the name of that podcast that they do out in L.A.? Damn, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, it's a white guy who hosts it, too. I'm going to look this up when I let you go. But uh, he brings porn stars, all kind of chicks on his show. And he just lets them go in on their philosophy on life. They don't feel like there's anything wrong or abnormal or crazy or weird or suspect about what they do. They don't. They don't. Because we are living in the world of free sex, no consequences. We're living in the world where sex working is just a job. It's a profession, something that we ought to pre something that we ought to appreciate for its entrepreneurial spirit and its industrialism. 
That's what they're selling us in the world. So, of course, Brittany Renner's marriage material. She is because the rest of these chicks are marriage material, too. So I hear what you're saying, and I agree. But cynically, I am going to disagree with Cup 22. She is marriage material, unfortunately. Wow, man. That's all right. Well, I, I, I see your point there. So, but my thing is, listen, I, I get that. So she's marriage material. There's two worlds, then, you know. So it's like, what world are you living in? You know. So yeah, if you're living in, you know, Delusionville, which the population is growing by the day. Yes, so it is. If, you know, so if you live in Delusionville, then yeah, absolutely. You know, upside downtown. You know, everything's just upside down. Everything's different. You know. So may, maybe over there, you know, Brittany Renner, you know, can find herself because uh, you got to. Yeah, bro. Like we like you just said it like the, we've got we've got enough examples of NBA players, you know, entertainers that just that'll just do that. Um, and, you know, there's so many of the, the users, you know, that grew up just users of of these websites and other things and you know you know the newer generation of people got used to paying like off the rip you know it, it'd be like a, a badge of honor for some of these dudes because they're already low-key sharing her you know with all of these people already you know i'm pretty sure some of them get weird and jealous on the back end because it's not like they're stable people but they right. still know what they're getting into it's some <laughs> weird stuff dog and it's like we, we it's it's really like a, a a gap, man. Of you had to be here before all of this stuff to not be a part of this stuff. Yeah, you know, that, that's not like an absolute because I know there's people that grew up in this stuff and that's not a part of it. But mm -hmm. man, dude, like there's people in our cohort or older that are just getting into the foolishness with this stuff. Yeah. So yeah. um, so upside downtown, hey man, those people can have that. But um, in the real world, in reality, uh, by no means, uh, you know, I don't believe she's a uh, marriage material. And I think that's the part where because I think most people are sticking with the traditional sense of marriage material and wifey material. And you bring her to the table so everybody can see your wife. And it's like, oh, whoa, you know, I, I see what you're doing, bro. But whoa, whoa, you know. You know, the eye candy, it fits, but um, everybody knows underneath that rapper, um, you know, she she only confessed to having, uh, well, uh, one or, or no. What would she say when she's talking about having sex with three guys? And, and one, oh, by, by the way, 24 hours. Yeah. In, yeah. In three guys, hours, hours. And, on, and only walked away with the yeast infection. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's what it was. Yeast infection. You know, you yeah. Know. So, yeah. But Boosie was like, hey, man, I had to start multiplying. Yeah, man, because you know, three dudes in one night. Yeah, right, girl. So you know, she's <laughs> so she's got enough going on where it's just like, all right, clearly, uh, in the real world, wouldn't wouldn't even consider her. So I get your point, man. Um, but um, yeah, that's enough people that live in that village that would do it. So I can't I can't even fault you for that. So yeah, clearly I'm being very cynical with my take, obviously, because I don't actually think that she's marriage material, but I'm looking at the world as it's changing, yeah. and the world as it's changing is just, we're, we're in the midst of a transition in which we are seeing people like that become marriage material, or still be marriage material, despite the baggage. Uh, but of course, in, 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 Still the real, I, I would still contend that the majority of the population is in reasonable world, but man, the, 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 the contingent of unreasonable world, it's, it is growing. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as the internet continues to dictate how people look at and view and think about things, uh, that facelift, the completion of it rather is imminent. I, I, I think that that's what I think. However long it takes for that facelift to be to to be complete, it's we're in the pro, we're in the phases of it, and in due time, it's going to it's going to complete itself. Where we're going to have that facelift, and we will be living in a state of social anarchy. Um, it's imminent. I, I truly believe that. But for now, yeah, it's tame. But yeah, I, I believe that she 
is largely considered by, as you call them, the basement dwellers. <laughs> and the rest, of, the rest of the population, the rest of these suckers and people out here who can't think for themselves, who don't have a mind of their own, Damn. they are like, whatever, 35 bodies, I want more. Book where you <laughs> Book about book about book about how you smash all the rappers and NBA players and NFL players. Give me more. You're throwing what? water on people in public. Give me more. You're giving dudes. You're giving you know troll social media personalities lap dances on a podcast. Give me more. I, I just think the world is in a state of give me more. So you know, we give are, me more. Give me more. Really give me more. And, and, and she is marriage material to those same people. Yeah, we really are in a like a gluttonous time in uh society. Cause I I I would always look at you know the 90s, you know, old footage of the 90s commercials or whatever. And I was like, man, we, all this stuff, these infomercials mm-hmm. and goofy things. But then I was I was like, man, that was such a time, you know, in America where just you know people just wasting money. And then I got to thinking about it, I was like, all this arbitrage online, all this other <laughs> whoopy whoop stuff going on. People are just just consuming, dude. Yeah. And I had to look at myself. And I was like, hey, man, I'm going a little too hard on X, Y, or Z. And it's just like, you know, you got to, you know, have some level of, like, uh, control and do some things in moderation. And um, but the only thing I'm witnessing right now in society is just overindulgence. And it's just like, hey, man, you know. If you want to look at those websites, you know, if you want to do that, bro, treat it like a salad, bro, or appetizer. <laughs> that can't be your your full course, three course meal of that. Yeah. You know, you lose your you lose your mind. But some people mm-hmm. just they don't have a filter of when off or on to turn it, and then you know it's just been a whole generation of people growing up of not having filters, and then yeah. the, then you get then you get this madness. And that's why that's when it starts to become like, oh, who cares? Everybody watches it. Oh, who cares? Everybody, you know, whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. you know, because now it's just a joke that everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people watch that stuff. And so it's that's become so because in the past that was taboo. So there's a lot of things getting unearthed. So I agree with you, man. It's going to come at some point in time because all of these people are eventually going to grow up and eventually not care because yeah. eventually it's like whatever. We all seen it. So who can, okay, yeah, girl, that is your job. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll just get a girl yeah. that don't do that. And then that's just where we're going to be where it's at. So, yeah, I see it, man. It's on the wall. It's, it's headed uh, for us soon. Uh, and honestly, <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to this until you started bringing it up. And now that I see it, man, it's like, yeah, I, I didn't even notice that. But, yeah, it has been going on. So, yeah. hey, man, yeah. uh, uh, upside down world, baby. We here, baby. Yes. 2020. Yes. Yep. Social anarchy, man. That's what I call it. That's what it is. That's what it is. Societal facelifts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Go ahead and get your husband, Brittany. It's on the way. It is yeah. on the way. Yeah, I got hope. I got faith. <laughs>